While specific plans have yet to be advanced, it appears a remodeled Delta Center is the most likely venue for the Utah Jazz and the new hockey team. That's what team owner Ryan Smith suggested in a recent interview with Fox 13 News. Anytime you've got over 80 to 100 nights of guaranteed Major League Sports downtown, um, there's a lot you can do with that. To help lure a team, the legislature approved the creation of a special entertainment district. This is not a stadium in isolation. We know that's a recipe for disaster. This is imagining what Salt Lake City of the 21st century will be. The city council is in negotiations over the area and what taxpayer dollars can be used to pay for what. There's so much public infrastructure that's going to have to go. And also, that's what we're negotiating right now. We know we can levy up to 0.5% sales tax. We have to set the terms for what it can pay for. The Utah State Legislature authorized the City Council to levy a citywide sales tax increase to pay for improvements to the area. That's the way we go. Our goal is to have as much public benefit and bang for our buck as we can get. So what is developed may be more than just a remodeled arena, and it could also be used in anticipation of a future Olympics. I expect more hospitality. I mean restaurants, I mean bars, um, uh, hotels and other revenue sources uh, that will help make both the NHL team a championship team and the Utah Jazz a championship team. Dee Brewer of the Downtown Alliance says it could also include another new venue. I hear from promoters, from those who book concerts, that we need a four to 6,000 seat venue. With an accelerated schedule set by the legislature, the Salt Lake City Council says public feedback will be important. There is a public hearing set next month on the downtown redevelopment district with a vote in July. But you can also weigh in by contacting your council member directly. We are accelerating uh, public feedback, and I know that can be frustrating for the public to hear, but we are actively asking for them to engage with us. Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.